Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stark of Two Crazy replays today on Moonlight Madness Letter Edition with another TVT against a Grandmaster League player. Oh, yeah. And it is playing in the left, spawning in the left bottom position as the blue Terran it is last. I am not sure if I remember that game or the rank he was, but Grandmaster League, I guess, top 100 at least, should be. He's playing against me, the Red Terran spawning in the right bottom, right top position, it's Alex Sasha. That happens when you cast too much, too long, without any practice or experience. <sighs> Being thirsty and speaking fast as hell. Not a good sign. Funny thing, my supply depot is a little bit earlier. Just slightly, as well as the SUV, I guess. Uh, maybe not. Yes, I'm a bit faster. Mm. And there we go, gas first for me, and last is going for the barracks. There we go, Rex. SUV producing a Rex, smoking in inside its suit. I don't think that that is really good. All those SUVs are smoker. And smoking in closed rooms, I think that's a very bad choice. There. But hey, whatever you like, you're going to explode, not me. And there we go, Rex first into 13, uh, gas first into 13 Rex. And there's the refinery for last. Not much to tell here, uh, sadly. The game is really slow compared to Legacy of the Void. I don't know what I should ta talk now. So, I'm just going to mm, talk random bullshit. And there we go. I should be able to get the uh, yeah, factory as well as the orbital command and the marine. Not the best timing, but it's okay. And he's scouting around. Very interesting. Maybe because a proxy marauder? That could be a thing? But I don't know. I don't know for what reason exactly he's scouting. Yep. And he's going for a command center right there, right after the Reaper. A second Reaper joins the battle soon. Interesting choice. Uh, he supply cap a bit, I guess. He needs a. Oh yeah. He needs the supply depot, so now he supply caps, he slept with that. Mm, Reaper goes in. Mm, might kill one SCV here. Maybe not. Just denies, delays the starport a little bit. Reaper gets away, gets a full scout. No, he doesn't see the gases. But as a Grandmaster League player, he should know that this was probably gas first, considering the timings. And there's the second Reaper on the way. So last factory quite late. But the command center is good. So yeah. We will see what he's doing with the two Reaper. It's two Reaper against four Marines. And the two Reaper could scout at least. And maybe kill one uh, Marine there. Or maybe one two SCVs. Mm, there's the Reaper. Moving into my main base. Scouting around, um, runs right into the Hellion, but now he sees a lot, so he could know what's coming. Oh, that is bad. He will lose this Reaper for sure. Trying to deal as much damage as possible to this Hellion, but yeah, I can just repair and be fine here. Ooh, floating barracks, that means mech. Starport, floating barrack, yeah. Oh, look at that! So many SCVs! Oh. All deleted. And there we have the 6 minute command center for me. So, this 111 is quite strong. You already know it. Mm. NG Bay. Starport, command center, factory. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So, the scouting Hellion, but he got two Hellions at a time, and he's on four already, so... Hellions are good against Marines. Mm, 
Oh, I see the floating barracks. I checked for the Xenaga Watchtower. So I know now already it has to be Mac. So, yeah. Uh oh, I will lose this Hellion. Yeah, it's. Oh! Maybe not! Oh, yes, now I will lose the Hellion. Ah. Bad driver. Gets fried. Fried Hellion. Wheels. Ah, that's not good. Those war buggies, battle buggy hellions. Yeah, those flames are cool. Hmm. So, barracks for scouting. Will confirm that there is no base yet. And here we go. With two dropships and a raven. So at least last isn't going for super greed mode. That could definitely uh, turn into a quick loss. But with the Hellions you should be fine. Like, you will have 10 Hellions soon against 2 tanks, 8 marines and that's really helping him, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Should, should look good for him. Ah, but he's taking a lot of damage here. 3 damage. So he has to pull... Uh, SCVs, that tank pickup was a bit too early. Losing the other tank, the oh, ho, ho, that was close. And saving the tanks is really, look at that, both are on red health and he needs to to deal with the turrets, uh, which he's doing now, so that, that's good. I could have dealt more damage, uh, maybe focusing the reactor or focus firing the Hellions, but... Uh, I was busy microing this medivac, I guess. For sure. For sure. Mm, that was close. But I guess. Eh, it paid off! It paid off. I didn't kill too many SCVs there, but 8 in total. Which is good, now I'm ahead. Considering he went Reaper fast expand. So, yeah. Good start for me in this game against a Grandmaster Terran. Who's playing Mac? Um, maybe kill the SCV? Yeah, thank you. Very interesting. So gas is taken, base is taken. I got a quick third command center and it definitely should help me. Uh, he's going for a lot of Hellions here. Just scouting around and there's the barracks. Barracks. And yeah, with that, hmm, let's see. Double tech lab, stim combat shield most likely, could also be stim and concussive shells, but I guess it's most likely stim combat shields. Maybe, soon. Ooh, those mineral line completely exposed! Uh, small cancel, didn't want to go uh, for a reactor there. Uh, but he's not moving in. He could kill so many mules and SCVs, because this army is quite out of position. And Hellions are fast. Uh, there's a viking here, and a drop- Ooh. Ooh, let's zoom out because I think bad stuff is going to happen soon. Ah, uh, this rock tower not even plays. Ah, uh, oh, oh, he baits me with the turret. That is smart. And I, ah, uh, I take everything to deal with that. That's his moment. Ooh, one kill, six kills, nine kills, eleven, thirteen kills. Oh, he's killing so many SCVs here. 16 in total and he's not done. Blue Flame Hellions in the main base as well. Look at the supply dropping there. That's yeah, really bad. And yes, my Bioforce will clean this most likely, but... Mm, I lost a lot. Right? I mean, I got triple command center, yes, but his command center is... Oh, it's not an orbital command. Oh, he's floating a lot of minerals. He was so busy. Ah, he's also just on three factories, so his macro is really bad, I have to say. Sorry, Glass. You're GM, you're good, but your macro is really bad there. Floating so many resources. Hmm, but he saw my fourth command center, right? Yes. Oh, he might lose the Raven there for free. Raven is too... Yeah, he will lose the Raven. That's unfortunate. Hmm, that's not good for him. There's still the floating barracks. And yeah, income wise, I mean he killed a lot. 28? 
There's the dropship. And he's going for Cloak Benji attack after that as well. He got a lot of Benjis here. Two Benjis, a third one on the way. Instead of Vikings, which is well, not the best choice, uh, but it's it's okay. Oh, no cancel there, but he got the minerals. Uh, yeah, he lifts back the command center, the orbital command. There are no turrets here, so Benjis could deal a lot of damage. And there they are. There they are. Killing a rock tower with flames. Mm. Mm, this Benji gets killed because there is a raven. Uh, I guess that's his scan. Yes. And oh, moving in with the bio like that. I'm not sure if that was a smart choice or not. Uh, he clears the bio completely. But uh, going for the tour, it's not really good. I should have gone for. Oh! Because of the SCVs, I guess this tank could, could kill with the splash damage the tank. But there are now the Banshees dealing a lot more damage. Uh, and it takes a long time until. Oh my god, I'm not reacting at all. The Raven out of position. Where's the Raven? There's the Raven. There's the Raven. Uh, but oh, so many worker killed here. And the income shows it. It's still quite equal. That's, that's strange. Oh, I might lose the tank here. Ah, oh, don't lose the tank! Don't lose the tank! Wah! Save the tank! Nice! So, oh, there's a small counter-attack, but that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna do everything. I'm not the best micro with the medivac, but I kill one... Oh. Oh, look at that. And the rock tower at 10 HP. Mm, chasing the Banji, but the Banji is as fast as the Viking. And a bit faster than the Raven, so can... Escape the detection range. Ooh, floating the command center. So, so much to the back of the main base. That's not good. It takes a lot, a long time to go back there. This tank's still not repaired. 6 HP. Mm, very vulnerable. As well as this Raven there. Uh, armory and NG bay. Dropping down. So now he clears it. His upgrades aren't that good, he got no upgrades at all. Although he got the armory. Hmm. Interesting turret place, and look at the, at the at the energy on the orbital commands. I guess you might see the new hammer, there we go. Yeah, using all the energy, Just having so many SCVs is also very nice. Cool. And, oh yeah, that push out. I mean, income-wise, I'm ahead. Even though he killed a lot of stuff. Oh, he's completely out of position. Just three tanks, but that's not gonna help him a lot. To be honest, he loses two immediately. The third one as well. Mm, and there are my tanks now. Oh, the Hellbats. Being baited here towards the dropped marines and clumping so much. Uh, it's nice to have the turret shooting at my medivax and the banshee can kill all those tanks so but he's still not mining here again and it I, I don't know how or why but it's not looking good look at the opponents I guess he normally doesn't play mag he's still on three factories uh, maybe he's drunk or sleepy or maybe an off race I have no clue but it's very very weird Maybe this map isn't good for mech as well. Could be the case. Could be the case. But it's floating so many resources. That's, that's the one thing I really dislike about this play. Mm, he tried... Oh! That is smart. He tried to drop there, but turret, raven and bunker there. I guess the raven isn't necessary, but turret and bunker. That helps a lot against those helmet drops. Because the marines are safe in the bunker, so yeah, that's nice. And the Marines have a high DPS. So last, last is still on on three bases. I'm preparing the four base uh, switch into air, and that should help me. That small attack still on one one, but two two will finish soon. His upgrades zero zero again. Still, that's ah, not good. I mean, yes, you don't need the upgrades, but you should get them. They definitely help. 
But attacking into that is really bad to be honest. I get one tank, two or three tanks, but losing Medivax and a lot of stuff for free as well. Losing the Raven and the turrets not dealing too much. Oh, I get his Raven as well. That's nice. That's really nice, but I lost a lot. I guess those turrets are there to buffer and take up instead of the tanks. Mm, I'm seeing the move out. Will I react in time? Oh, that's too. That's not enough. I need more units. Mm, oh, I could. Oh, this is it. Steering forward, trying to kill the tanks. And there we go. Big engagement. Uh, losing the medevac here. Tanks unseized. Scan gets dropped. And it looks like I might be able to just barely win this fight. Uh, yes. Looking good for me. Supply wise, I'm ahead quite a lot. Upgrade wise as well, because he skipped them completely. And ooh, there's just one tank here. I'm going for a multi prong attack as well. Uh, those marines get sh shrecked. But the marauder here, they will do a good job. Ah, uh, they will do a good job. Uh, Hagen's going down to the marauder. And yeah, I might be able to get some tanks here. Or even the Vikings, which is nice. And there's the air switch, Raven getting produced as well as the Vikings. I got so many SCVs on that base. Very nice. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think that Last can win this game anymore. He's so far behind the command center there. Yeah, it's nice, but it's, it's so late. Everything is late, no upgrades. Uh, he can't go for the air as well as he has to stick with the tanks because he got only 10. 10 is good but with nothing to buffer it's just not good enough and yeah that's that's the big issue here so I don't know it's not looking too good here for last to be honest yeah those hands are annoying but oh, that's scary. There are four tanks. I don't see all of them. But I'm stealing in, and I guess that could be the winning move. Maybe. Maybe not. It's not looking too good here. PDDs. They definitely have a lot against the Banshee and the Vikings. And the tanks get killed here as well. There we go. GG. So. Yeah, there's nothing to say about that game. Mm, it was quite funny so never give up never surrender maybe your opponent has a bad day you can win even though you lost 42 SVs against Mac just be greedy sometimes and you might win <sighs> okay that's it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed as always I wish you a very nice day and goodbye